So they're building. And Mr. Kraft, you know, he's not getting any younger. He certainly would like to see another championship. I don't think that they'll get to another championship under Bill Belichick anytime soon. And I don't know how much longer Bill wants to, to coach, but they're going to certainly be competitive. They're going to fight for the division. They're going to be in playoff races, but I just don't see them as being a Super Bowl contending team in the next several years. See, Keith, that, I, you said something that really took my thought to a different plane. I don't see Robert Kraft ever being able to fire Bill Belichick. It, Bill Belichick, I feel like, will walk away from the Pats before Robert Kraft will ever get that opportunity to fire him because I think Bill Belichick will want to try something different if he doesn't feel like he can contend for a Super Bowl. And you look at the AFC, it's such an arms race right now. With all these new quarterbacks jockeying for position, with everything we're seeing in the AFC West, it is absolutely loaded. So I think the probability of Belichick retiring is a lot higher before Robert Kraft firing him. He, you think that Bel I, I think if let's say Belichick missed the playoffs this year, I think Robert Kraft could go in another direction. No, no, not a chance. Not no. a chance. No. Not a chance. How long does when, the, when, does the, does that resume not not like how long does that give you protection? Man, he's got nine Super Bowl appearances in six championships. Think about it. One a, a coach gets a coach gets one championship and he sticks around for 15 years. He's got six, Max, in nine appearances. And he made the playoffs last year with a rookie quarterback that many didn't think could even play. No, no, he's a great coach. There's no, look, I'm not questioning whether or not Bill Belichick is a great coach. I am pointing out, however, that people like me who were always like, eh, it's more Belichick than Brady. It's a coach's league. Since Brady left... And even with the year Brady got hurt and before he had Brady, he was a really good coach among a lot of really good coaches. When he had the greatest quarterback of all time, he was the greatest coach we've ever seen. Now he's back to being a really good coach. No, I think oh, he's the God, greatest coach stop. we've ever seen. Still? Stop. Yes. The dude just met. Yes. The dude just <laughs> reorganized the, the entire organization, went out in free agency, put a bunch of guys together, took a rookie quarterback, an undrafted wide receiver in Jacoby Myers, put them together, packaged them up, and made a run at the AFC East. Yeah, You can't do that. How about the Buffalo game? I, I, I'm mean, not questioning whether or not he's a great coach. You, you did. You just no. said you, you, just said he really you a great just coach did it. to a good coach. You well, just well, yes, no, no. Max, there are, you, there took him from, you took him from great to, to good. good. Okay, let's put it this way. I think that I, I suspect that without Tom Brady, Belichick can be a great coach. I will say that the results he's gotten without Tom Brady put him in the category of very good. Great means you're going to make I, a playoff I, I, run. I, I, he hasn't I done that this yet. Is when, this is when I say I can't listen to you right now, man. Well, I what can't. has he done without Brady? It does, but come on. Brady. I'm the one Brady, arguing your position until I've seen new don't, evidence. Don't look at Brady going to Tampa in a perfect situation, yeah. and then all of a sudden they hit pay dirt and they win the championship now. It's more Brady than it is Belichick. Can't help Hold it. It works on, on me, Keith. Imagine. I hear what you're saying. Hold on, Keith. If you would have told me in advance, I'd have been like, yeah, don't be that guy. But don't here be I am, that guy. guy. I'm that Max. guy. I'm Max. that guy. Yeah. Is Bill Belichick not the greatest coach in NFL history? He is. Okay. Because you can't take away is, all those Super Bowls that he won. Is, okay. it, but you're saying that until you see more evidence that he can win without Tom Brady, then you're – but you said he's the greatest coach. Let me make a history. comparison. I'm confused now. I want to make an NBA comparison, Jay, the way you said Tatum and Dak Prescott. I look at Greg Popovich. He's one of the greatest coaches of all time. I'm not so stupid that I think that because he, they haven't been dominating recently, Popovich still isn't one of the greatest coaches of all time. I understand that, okay? I do also understand that when a coach takes that next step in historical greatness, he, he almost always has a player that's an extension of himself on the field, a next-level, all-time great yes. guy. So when Belichick had Brady, he was the GOAT. Without him, he hasn't been. When Popovich had Duncan, he was among the greatest coaches ever. Without Duncan, he is a, a good head coach. He gets good results with what he has, but he has failed to win championships without Duncan. That's his whole career. I'm not, I'm not knocking Belichick or Popovich. I'm just observing that those are the facts. Yeah, but, but, but Max, your facts are so wrong when it comes to this because when you look at it, 
it goes hand in hand. There's no question about it. But Bill Belichick won, as I said a minute ago, took an entire roster, reshaped the entire roster, and made a run at the AFC East and backdoored a team that many thought at the beginning of the year wouldn't compete in that division, and he just gave it to the Buffalo Bills, and they went to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And you don't think that he's going to improve this year. Now, I don't think they're going to go to the Super Bowl, no. But I think they're going to the playoffs? A, I th yeah, I think they're a playoff team. I, I think, think there's a playoff. real I think good there's a chance, chance they can miss the playoffs. I think there's a real no, good chance so. they can miss it no, based I don't on how so. strong the AFC West and North have gotten. But I, I look, take Bill Parcells, Key. Parcells won with Phil Simms. He won with Jeff Hostetler when Sims got hurt, right? He was – Parcells Parcells built up and made deep runs or turned around organizations or won Super Bowls with in different situations. To me, he passes a certain kind of test so, that Belichick is now passing. Or like That's what we're finding out about him now. So let me ask you this, though, uh, Max, mm -hmm. and be honest with me here. I'm going into that voice. Um, <laughs> so – those three first Super Bowls, was that all Brady, some Brady, nope. mainly Brady? I, mean, I like, always thought it was Belichick. Okay. 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 So if you thought the three were him and not Brady, and you say he's never done anything without Brady, then you give him those three Super Bowls, What correct? I'm saying yeah, – well, but but what I, I'm, that, I, yes, but uh, what I'm saying is, like, Mac Jones is that kind of quarterback now. If you can't do that again, but they got to the playoffs. Okay, but not, but but he's talking about winning three Super Bowls. Yeah, but so if no, you but, can't at least let, but, make a deep Max. deep run with that, then what it means is no, it's Mac Jones is yeah. not Tom Brady now. Even when Tom Brady was young and apparently just he's not, just, I'm just the asking, asking you, he was he was more than that in certain ways. I'm just Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.